Christ and why not take, just take him, consider, read the Gospels, read, you know, these things, but consider the Lamb. Okay, and this was also another model. We see in the Gospels that Jesus entered Jerusalem five days before he was crucified. He was perfectly fulfilling the day, the type. You know, he was crucified on the day of preparation for the Passover. We're told in John, the Gospel of John. That was when they sacrificed the lamb, they killed the lamb, and started preparing it for the Passover meal. You know, when Jesus was entering Jerusalem, and they're singing Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, at that very time, all of the households throughout Israel were taking the Pass Passover lamb into their houses. He was perfectly fulfilling the type. Perfectly on time. And you know, the day he was crucified. Now what did they do, by the way? What did they do with him for those five days? They challenged him. They examined him constantly. It says to see if they could find any flaw in him by which they could accuse him, and they could find none. Just as all those households were to be examining their lamb, the lamb of God himself was being subjected to that same thing. And finally, they had to, they had to hire false accusers Amen. to accuse him. Amen. He was the perfect, flawless lamb of God. Amen. The very time they were nailing him to the cross, they were putting the knives to the throats of all those typical Passover lambs throughout Israel. He is on time. He is the perfect fulfillment. He did, does everything on time. He does. And you know, it's another thing. Today we celebrate. He, did, he didn't stay on the cross. He didn't stay in the grave. You know, there was another little part of the ritual you can read about here in Exodus, also in Leviticus and Deuteronomy. There was another little part of the ritual. Three days after the Passover, the priest was to go out into the field and gather what was called the sheaf of the first fruits. Which at that time, this time of year, the sheaf or the sprouts are just coming up out of the earth. Just beginning. They were to gather one, a little sheaf of the first fruits, take it into the Holy of Holies and wave it before the Lord. It's called the wave offering. The wave of the sheaf of the first fruits. Look this up. They were to do it at dawn on the third day after the Passover. Wow. What was happening at that very moment when that priest at dawn is waving the sheaf of the first fruits. The first fruits himself is coming out of his grave. Perfectly on time. He is always on time. 